Good morning everybody, this is Pat Jess Pinkles. Hi, welcome to my channel. It's cold today. Like it's gotten like yesterday, it got really cold today. It's like 25 degrees. <clears throat> and it's funny because like they, a few days ago it was at 57 degrees, which is weird at this time of the year. But now we got into the actual cold winter. More winter than fall weather. So yeah. Um, today I just dropped the sign new lease at the rentals office and now I'm headed to work and I'm running a little bit late. I was content that the person was going to be there but they were not so I just dropped in there. That's my warning sign that I have low fuel. Hopefully I get it. I have enough to get to work. So I will do stuff. I'm already running slightly late so I want to make it to work. Um, <clears throat> I I'm running late but I put an hour of predicted pay time off so I can arrive an hour late. Get, like people from Sierra, where were you? Oh my god, we needed you. Like, and the reason that I've been having so much trouble lately is because I'm dealing, I've been dealing with so many episodes. Um, I wake up at 10 in the morning and I cannot fall asleep until like 5 10 in the morning. And two hours that I Lost some sleep, and then when I fall back asleep again, I end up falling asleep only to hear the alarm waking me up, and I feel like crap honestly, because I haven't had enough, enough sleep. On top of that, a few days ago, I also been been staying up late until like 2 a.m. in the morning because I cannot fight from the sleep. Um, so it's a it's a weird combo, and uh, I hate it because it's like. I feel like crap when I wake up in the morning and just like everything sucks like and then because of the weather changes like my apartment feels warm um, warm cold my sinuses are going like nuts like it's, there's not a day that I wake up and I don't feel like the sinus has come like not doing any discharge or anything so that also been bothered me lately and then I think it's a cause that I was sick last uh, two weeks ago it's a cough and the cough doesn't bother me at all anymore like it's not like as it was before it was only in the upper local lungs but like, yeah the sinuses are going wild there with this weather and it's something that has happened before so this is like but then with the new cases of COVID going on it's like so is this COVID or not like most likely it's not so it's just my sinuses going like wild because change your weather, it's warm, cold, warm, cold, and all like going nuts. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, doing okay so far. I finished moving most of my stuff from storage today. I finished moving the rest of my storage, things from storage. And I already the bookcases I already been organizing things you know and uh, that way it doesn't the apartment doesn't that organized but I like the bookcases that I put in my apartment they look adorable um I will still see if I discard and get rid of more books in the coming weeks um, which I'm gonna probably end up taking to the donation bin in Albany in the Albany Public Library just because um, I don't need to keep that many books need them. I'm not working as an engineer at all. Like, what's the point of keeping those books, you know? So, definitely I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff for in the next couple of days. Um, not these weeks, you know, but that's what I'm doing. I'm, di I'm ditching a bunch of stuff. I'm also thinking about ditching uh, some of the common cards that I have of Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because they are common and nobody's going to probably purchase them, so, yeah. There used to be a time that I would purchase like a gigantic box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, but, like whenever a new expansion would come in, I would purchase a box of it, and you know, and I got a bunch of commons. So, some some cards I will keep, others I think I'm just going to like bye bye cards. Um, those early cards I'm still debating what I'm going to do with them. I think I'm going to try send them to a friend of mine. I'm not playing with them. I haven't played it in a while, but I'm going to keep probably one or two decks 
uh, I like most likely The Undertaker and maybe Triple H deck, which are my favorites, and um, keep some of those cards, but all the other cards, they're going bye-bye, because, again, I don't need them, I don't use them, I don't play with them, so it might be best to do. Like, I don't care if I lose money in the process, you know, like, if I could sell them, I would sell them, but I don't know how long that would take for me to sell them. <coughs> the same as the books. I'm going to probably check if I can sell some books online, but if I can't sell them and not get a good price for them, I'll just donate them, you know. That's going to be the way to go, because it's, it's way too much money. It's too much money that... It's, it's way too much money, it's just like, I don't know. Have the space for things, you know. I've been keeping things for too long, and I just, I just don't want to. I want to downsize my life, my my things, so that way I have less things if I need to move in the near future. Which usually happen because I live, I live here. I don't have a family. I don't have my parents and all that kind of stuff. So if rent goes up and I can't afford it because my income has increased, like. Move. Or if I have to move to a different place, of, or the one that I'm taking more. If something were to happen to my parents, in Puerto Rico, I don't know how I will have to deal with the situation. I probably have to go to Puerto Rico, that's one. Two, I may have to find a way to. I don't know if I will to move it down there, you know. So that's the other thing. storage unit is one expense less that I will have to worry about. I don't have money that I can use for other things. And that's the key here, using money for other things. Eventually, I only have like nine payments left on my car. So once I finish paying off my car, that will be another expense that I will not have to worry about. It's a prime maintenance, and I know the maintenance is quite high for the car. Um, and they, of mileage that I have in the car and I also need to start thinking whether I'm going to get a new car or not but I don't want to get a new car yet but the maintenance costs are probably going to start increasing with this car as I get like it's more than five years that I'm working with this car so definitely it's going to I may have to invest more in maintenance and it doesn't get cheaper it will get more expensive, so I have to take that into consideration. But we'll see what happens, you know. Um, well, it's hard decisions, and then I have to depend on my income. So, like, my income is not too high, I can't do a lot, you know. Unfortunately, like, being honest, it's like I work at Walmart and I'm, I'm making it to me. It's not that bad, but it doesn't give me a lot of money. I, I need something different that is not Walmart, you know. I want something different that is not Walmart. Something that give me more money. Um, it's sad to, to depend on a job that Like, I know I can be doing something different and something more challenging, and I'm not, you know, I'm just working at Walmart, and the hell out of my day is when a customer says, excuse me, where's the sugar? Oh, thank you so much. That's, that's my hell out of the day. Um, there's nothing interesting. There's nothing that I feel like I'm learning anymore. It is the nature of retail, you know, unfortunately. Will the other job that I went to interview last week be any different? Again, it's a manufacturing job, I get it, I understand what has to be done. I get how it works, the position. 
Is it where I want to stay? No, absolutely not. I don't want to stay there. I mean, I don't want to stay in that position. I can't be doing an engineering job. That's where I went to school for. That's where I got into that for. And the sad part is like I'm not doing any engineering at all. I got education also in business administration and accounting. I'm not doing any accounting at all. It's an associate though, but it's still enough that I could be working as a bookkeeper and getting experience in, as a bookkeeper and I'm not. You know, so I'm just tired. I cannot continue doing physical work for the rest of my life. I am not gonna do physical work for the rest of my life. I don't think I can. that is more valuable than just like working retail because also I'm tired of getting uh, like every day that I go to a store there are chances I'm going to get misgendered there are chances that co-worker is going to get me is, is going to misgender me like I'm just tired of dealing with just pretty much being treated like shit customers get misgendering me customers like being customers but at the same time it's like Gender, you know, like seriously, like this is not what I want to deal with the rest of my life, for the rest of my life, my job, you know. I got enough of this. We're seeing you as your last, you know, because customers are always right, you know. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I, I didn't, I didn't want it to end up in retail. Somehow I ended up in retail because I needed a job, but it's not my ultimate goal to stay in retail. They work in retail and I'm honest of that, you know. Like did I want to do stay in retail? No, absolutely not. I didn't want to all the education that I had to end up in retail. I want to, to work. Like retail wasn't my option. The only reason that I've been doing it is because I needed a job, you know. If I find a different job, they'll pay me more money and it's in one of the areas that I like in engineering. I would totally quit this job. That's simple as it is. It's, it's retail. It's not doing anything for my career. And it's sad because of the engineering experience about design, the calculations, all the kind of stuff. Especially for me to get my license here in New York State um, as a professional engineer. I need to get experience that is engineering experience. I cannot get that with a job in manufacturing or with a job in retail. You know, it's, it's sad. It's, it's depressing, it's been affecting me, the fact that I could never get that, that professional engineer license. And some people say, oh, you're in this organization. You know, I can pay money joining an organization. It's not going to do anything for me. I need experience. I need a job that can give me the experience that I need so I can get my professional engineer's license here. If I don't get that, I cannot do anything with that. If I can get that experience, I cannot get the license. If I cannot get the license, I cannot get better jobs that will pay me better than what I'm earning right now. That's just plain truth. Manufacturing job, 12 hour shift, yeah, it sounds great. Fantastic, I, I love it for a while, but also it will reach probably the same point that it was reaching at one part. Like once I learn to do the job, it's like, it's and most days I'm bored. Most days I'm an autopilot. I don't even have to think to do some of the tasks that I have to do. It's not challenging me. I'm not using even 10% of what I went to school at all. It's just some mindless job, you know. Yes, it pays me money. I understand that. But it's not giving me life satisfaction. And then again, what is life satisfaction then? That would be the case that I would have to ask myself. Is life that satisfaction working as an engineer or is life satisfaction feeling happy about what I'm doing with my life, you know? And right now, even though I feel happy about certain segments that I'm doing in my life, like wrestling, and uh, I don't feel happy with my job. I just do it because I need to do it, but I don't feel happy with my job. I don't feel like I'm making a difference. I don't feel like I'm doing something positive for the good of society. I know I can be doing way more than just retail. It's just the way that I feel. But for now, I have to do that. Do 
the job. And, and it's not like I don't do it at work. I do my job at work, you know. I work hard when I have to work hard. I go and do the job that needs to get done, you know. I, it's just... Conducent to anything that else. And so maybe if I say it this door, I become a coach, you know.